तो वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स मैं ऑडिबल टू ऑल यस सर मैं ऑडिबल यस सर सो लेट्स बिगिन द रिग्रेशन एनालिसिस व्हिच इज द पार्ट ऑफ योर कोरिलेशन एनालिसिस ओनली सो यू कैन जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड you have a seen how this correlation is just giving some relation between two variables which is a linear which is the linear linear in the sense if x is increasing then y is increasing or x is decreasing y is decreasing and vice versa okay so we are just trying to find out measures of strength of relationship between two variables using the concepts of correlation now what is the use of regression analysis what is the use of a regression analysis so regression analysis is used to be predict used to be find used to be obtain the value of dependent variable when independent variable is given to you that means that can you predict can you predict your marks based on number of lectures attended means that let's say out of 20 lectures you have attended 10 lectures then what could be your marks so whenever you are interested to obtain a one variable when other variable is given to you then we can use the method or i can say technique and or again say tools is basically regression analysis so basically regression analysis is a mathematical relationship between the variables and it used to find out one variable when other variables are given to us Okay, so this is the mainly concepts of your regression analysis. So I'll just give a, a few, uh, uh, few I can say uh, introduction. Then we can start with the simple linear equations. So what the regression analysis is? Regression analysis is or uh, develops. an equation or mathematical formula mathematical formula between the related variable very important that related variable related variable if if the equation is established between the variables it helps in predicting predicting means finding predicting means predicting bracket me i will say finding comma controlling and planning the activities just a minute just just give me one minute planning the activities so what is that 
what is this what what do you understand by this trick so first of all it is an equation you know what is equation right you know what is equation y is equal to a plus bx some equation y is equal to x square plus b equation some equation it is equation in a form of x and y now, if I talk about the terms of example, let's say example. See, there are several examples, so you can refer it some book. Okay, I'm just giving one or two example in that case. Uh, if quantity demanded, quantity demanded depends on The price of the price of the commodities price of the commodity that is knowing the price of knowing the price or against the amount of on TT demand can be detected. Can be detected. Simple to understand. Simple to understand. Whenever onion price or tomato price increased. Like around, I will say around 67, 60 rupees per kg or 90 rupees per kg. Then automatically the demand goes down. Am I right or wrong? So one can predict their price amount. The price amount goes high. One can understand what will be quantity demand. Similarly, if the price goes down, the price goes down one can know what will be my quantity demanded again here because there will be more demand in the market there will be more demand in the market getting my getting my point so in this way if you know the price or the amount of the quantity one can predict their demand okay i can give another example to make you the clear about this problem example number two as I have given the example for the number of lectures, right? You can, if, or I can say, you can predict, you can predict the marks obtained, obtained, an examination knowing knowing the number of lectures attended are you getting a point so if you know the you can you can predict your marks you can predict predict your success in examination provided you know how many lectures you have attended in a class getting upon so knowing one variable you can predict one variable that is the called as prediction that is called prediction estimation estimated value we call estimated value means what will my estimated value if i'm going to do this if i'm attending this course can i get benefit in the, my future so knowing knowing the present value knowing the present value can i obtain future value so regression is used to be predict future value when we have present value so like a stock market like a stock market do you predict what will be the 
my like tomorrow what could be the stock market whether it goes down whether it goes up what could be like what what will be the particular share price so that is from where do you know that that is from regression analysis there are several use in the regression analysis which you can understand do you know that do you know that when college will start when college will be run smoothly functioning nobody knows but you can predict you can predict using regression analysis think on that think it can you predict like after one month the college will start if yes then you need to decide different factors what are the factors are involved to start the college so that college will depends on which are the factors are you getting my point so you have to look at the dependent variable and independent so if i'm saying there are the very less cases now happening in the mumbai region very less cases so to obtain the number of cases and finding the school and colleges is going to be start so you can find some relation so if there is relation exists you can predict now students are always asking me sir college when when the college will start when college will start so you can predict now you can predict now when college will start so you have to do the survey on that you need to find out the proper questionnaire for that create a questionnaire make a google form do the survey and apply the regression analysis and find out when the college will start this is not a very simple task but it is not a difficult task if you think it you can do it if you think it on that you can do it so if you, you can understand you can understand how this regression analysis works in that particular project are you getting so if the vaccination starts if the vaccination starts in mumbai region and if vaccinations having more effect on i can say normal people or patient then i will be say the college will start because vaccination say now i am getting comfortable everybody is knows now vaccination is available and government also knows so they will take a decision now we can start the train and once the train will start college will start so which are the factors depends on what factor so we need to be decide all these variables which has strong relation first so whenever i perform a regression analysis first i need to be understand whether there is a relation between those two variable and if yes if yes then we go to the regression analysis but if no then what can you understand if no then what then we have to be do certain transformation we have to be do certain that means your assumption is not satisfied and i cannot apply i cannot apply linear regression i cannot apply linear regression i have to apply some other regression which may be exponential which may be log algorithm but it is a part of a regression but it is the part of regression so just try to understand just try to understand how this particular 
variable box. Okay. So now we will discuss about simple linear regression. So the form of linear regression equation y on x usually i will say capital y on capital x is given by is given by see the equation what i'm i'm using small y here huh? here i have written capital but here i'm using y or I will I will simply to not to make you confused. Let me use only small x. Okay, so that you should not get confused. Y is equal to a plus b x. This is my equation. Understand? Please understand. This is called as simple linear regression. This is called as simple linear regression. What is called simple linear regression? Because this is the equation in a form of simple x and y, where y is what is your y? Y dependent variable. And and x is independent variable. X is independent variable. Are you getting my point? So we need to be understand these concepts properly. Why y is called dependent variable? Because it is dependent on x. This y is dependent on x. And a is nothing but what is that? A is intercept, intercept value, and b is slope of a line. This might be you have studied in your HSC level, some part of this, not entire part of this. And both are constant. Both are constant. Both are constant. Have you understood till here? Any question? Any question till here? Anyone? Please let me know first. Please let me know. Let me know if you have any questions in your mind. Yeah. Shiva Misha told like in June we will start the college. Good. <laughs> but you have not done prediction. You have said manually. Right? Right, Shivam? All right, Shivam? Shivam is there? Okay. These are small concepts. But having large idea about that. What is that? What is this? I can look at here. Just look at screen.
this equation, this particular equation, particular equation, this is your predicted line y hat. What is called? y hat is equal to a plus b hat. And these values are given to you. a hat, b hat, you can calculate. So y hat, you can calculate. And this is a line of y hat. This is your observation, right? This you can call y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, and so on. Y6. Because usually you plot x versus y, right? You plot the y versus x, and you can see the relation is there or not. Okay, sum. So the distance, the distance between these points to this point, one can able to find. And this distance is called as e, which can be computed using y minus y hat. Y minus y hat. Now what is your y hat? Y hat is this. Y hat is this value. A hat plus B time, B hat time x value. So we, we when you have x value, you can substitute the values and get the value of y hat. And once you get the y hat value, we can calculate this error. This E is called as, this E is called as error term is called as error it may be positive it may be negative why because it is an up and down right up and down value so it can be positive it can be negative and the overall aim of the regression is you have to minimize this error you have to be minimize this error some of square sum of square usually we call it as ess error sum of square okay so so what do you understand now because this is a very small concept but i will tell you i will tell you Based on this error, based on this residual, this is also known as residual. Based on this residual or based on this error, one can decide about the model. About the model. Whether your model is very good, it's better fit the data or not. So if your model will be not good fit, you can't predict the right value. You can't predict the right value. Why you cannot fit the right value? Because Your error is not minimum because you have not minimized your error properly. So you need to be minimize the error sum of squared. But how? The question is how? Okay. So for that purpose, we have a method. What is the method? And that method name is method of least square. Method of least square. So using method of least square, one can minimize the error sum of square. Okay. Please watch this video again and again in YouTube. Either which go, I'm going to upload or you can watch any other video you, who will uh, more dealt about the error term because that is the i will tell you the uh, uh, very very good foundation of this concepts if this concept is not clear then just creating a model it has no role it has no meaning okay so how to minimize the error that question is arising so that's why we come to the next part which is called as 
method of least square. Method of least square. And this is method of least square is very, very important concepts which you should know properly. Okay. So that I'll just let me increase the font size so that you can understand what this method says. So as I said, as I said, the least square method is used to be minimize the error sum of square. How you can minimize? How you can minimize? Just try to understand these concepts of least square method is a very famous, is very, very famous in statistical in statistics in statistical point of view okay and even this method you can use in mathematics also maybe in some way somehow you can just now i'm going to explain that method you can understand how this condition how this method works okay so that me so you can understand now So, minimizing, minimizing, error sum of square. Oh, that does. Are you writing? Using. Are you writing the answer or no? Can you hear? Method of this square. Can you hear? Can you mute yourself? Can you mute yourself? Dog young ones will Okay. So how to find this minimize error sum of square? Okay. That is a question we have to understand. So let me define this E, which is nothing but summation of E square. So as I said, what is summation of E square? It is the difference between, you can look at here, Y minus Y hat. It's the difference of Y minus Y hat. So how do you get this value? So it's a difference of Y minus a minus b this is the whole square so this is the value of your hat which is y hat okay a hat b hat okay i'm not using hat i will use at the end of the hat so y minus this value which is your y hat so this is the value you can able to get it according to the formula now we have to minimize this value. We have to minimize this value. So, to, so using the condition, using the condition, of minimizing a function, what is the condition? We have to differentiate this E with respect to A and equate it to zero and, and 
you have to differentiate the equation with respect to b equated with zero. And also, also second derivative should positive. For minimizing condition, your first derivative equated with zero and second derivative should be positive. That means that your graph will be like this. Okay, look at this is the value of minimum. This is the value of the minimum. So using these concepts of minimization, one can, one can use this condition first derivative equated to zero and second derivative should be positive but we are not working on the second derivative it is assumed to be second derivative is going to be positive okay. but if you do it second derivative definitely will be an answer will be positive so we need to be understand first derivative and equate with zero so let's find out first derivative just find out first derivative of what summation y minus a minus bx ka whole square. Can anyone tell me what will be derivative of x square? It is 2 into x. It is 2 into x. So similar things it will be due to here. 2 times summation y minus a minus bx. Into derivative of this function. This is called composite function. Function contain function is called composite function into derivative of minus so minus a derivative minus one. Okay. Equate with zero. Similarly, you can simplify this. What will be get it? Minus two minus one goes away because it is zero. Summation of y minus a minus bx is equal to zero. What could be if you just open the brackets? Can we lega? Summation of y, summation of a is become na plus b times summation of x equated to zero implies that y is equal to na plus or summation of y is equal to b times. Say this is the equation number one. Please tell me whether you understood or not this particular derivative. Please tell me. Please let me know whether you understood or not. If you understood, go to chat box, write down why. Simply why. Go to why, just type why. Only three response, 33 three response. Only six, only seven, only nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So out of thirty three, out of thirty three, approximate, I will be say that. 50% students are like they are just saying yes or no. I, I, I didn't check the I didn't check the uh, chat box. I didn't check the like I'm just getting the message like one, two, three, four, like that. But they whether they have written yes or no, I have to just check. I have to just check. Yeah, so somebody has written something. Let me just check it what they have written. Yes. So this is my chart. Let me just share the screen. Let me share the screen. Yeah. So what is this actually? Yeah, more why? But something is also there, B times something, Vx, I, okay, Vx, I, take care, somewhere, somewhere, some mistake. 
माइनस बी एक्स आई ओके ओके राइट हैंड साइड में लिया तो माइनस प्लस हाँ बराबर इफ यू टेक माइनस प्लस देन इट विल बी जस्ट गोइंग टू बी चेंज देखो कैसे चेक करो This minus and minus two goes that left hand side, na left hand side, and it is zero. It is a multiplication, na minus two, minus two. को divide करेंगे zero से, that becomes zero only. So only this term will be remaining, and you can just open the brackets, and if you take this, will be right hand side. It's become positive. I hope now you're clear. Now can you differentiate this with respect to b? Let me know how many can do it. What is what will be this? If you done it, you can cross check two times. Summation y minus a minus b x into derivative of this function, which is minus b. Sorry, not minus b, minus x divided to zero. Divided to zero. So again, it will be minus two. We go that side. Summation y minus a minus x x equated to zero. This has become summation y x or again x y minus summation eight times summation of x minus summation of x squared equated to zero. So I missed out something b here. I will just pull out B here. So, what will be that? Summation x y is equal to a summation of x plus b times summation. Here equation. So again, my question is to all of you: Have you understood? The second derivative. That is equation number two. So again, go to chat box and write down why. Go to chat box and write down why. So see, you can understand. Just work out once again manually. You will be understand how this derivative works. It is the very very simple task. Very very simple task. Very very simple task. And this is the concept we have to use throughout the regression. Throughout the regression. Remember, whether you are using algorithm uh, logarithm, whether you are using exponential, whether you are using simple thing. Whenever you are applying the regression, this is the condition we have to use it to get the parameter n. Now, the equation number one and two, equation number one and two are called normal equation. Very very normal equation. Understand? Understand? Why it is called normal equation? Okay. And solving this in one and two, solving one and two, you may get value of a and b. You may get the value of One and a and b. Sorry, to solving one and two, you will get the value of one and two. So solving equation one and two, we get values of a and b. So if we just look at the equation number or a one and two. What things I will multiply in such a way that I will be get the value of n? क्या 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 multiply करेंगे? Can you tell? Anyone tell? 
you know how to make it this right either you key, uh, make the coefficient of a will be same here so if you just multiply by summation of x here and n here it's become same so equation number 1 multiply with summation of x and equation number 2 multiply by n and take a difference and take a difference so kya milega what you will be getting here understand or take a difference means you can uh, you can draw, don't write can and 2 minus 1 take 2 minus 1. what you will be get 2 minus 1 so it is summation xy minus right hand side left hand side of this one so summation of x summation of y is equal to again this a time n into summation of x plus b time summation of x square minus n time a time summation of x plus b time summation x the whole square can you understand or is there in some correction in that let me know so it may happen some correction will be there can you understand so what this will get cancel what is remaining b time summation x square minus summation x ka whole square and here what this will be same implies what b will be what what is your b it is this quantity divided by this quantity summation xy minus summation of x summation of y whole thing divided by summation of x square minus x ka whole thing. is there is some correction because you are multiplying this equation number this by n na i have been multiply here so n will come in picture right what else what else similarly here also na n will come in picture n will come in picture n will come in picture what else can you try to make this in the form of covariance divide by n square both the numerator and denominator numerator and denominator to kya hoga n square square divide karo to kya milega xy upon n minus n here and here it's become x bar y bar divided by divide by n square so here will be summation of x square by n minus divided by n square so x bar square what is this actually can anyone tell me can anyone tell me what is this what is your numerator for yes i don't chat box i don't in chat box what is the numerator part i can understand how whether you can understand or not. what is that yes so what so your numerator is nothing but let me see the chat box yeah exactly so at least three four response so your numerator is a covariance it's a covariance between x and y and the denominator become the variance of x try to understand students try to understand this concepts are you getting my point so this is the value of b and once you get the value of b you can substitute in any equation in any equation let's say here substitute the values of b here you will be get the value of a from you can calculate the value of a from okay and this b 
means usually I will express it dyx. Okay. What is this dyx? This is called as regression coefficient y on. So dyx is nothing but regression coefficient regression coefficient y on x okay so once you know the value of b substitute b y x value substitute in equation one what is equation one now we have it was summation y and a plus b times summation of x so you will be get summation y and a plus b ka value what is your b ka value b y x into summation okay so what can you calculate a ka value from here what will be that what will be that take this will be here and this will be here or you can take simply this will be here so y minus b y x summation of x is equal to what and a can you get from a here a a will be what y bar minus b y x x bar right when you divide this n taken to left hand side it become n n so you'll get y bar x bar so this is the value of it this is the two value which you can use it for your calculation one this will be this one and another one will be this one okay and therefore therefore the regression equation y on x is given by y minus y bar is equal to b y x x minus x bar. Now you will ask you from where we we get this, right? X minus x bar. You have value y. You got value of x. So I have written x here. Liya. X ka value is a plus b x, na? Y is equal to a plus b x. Okay. So y will be as it is. What is your a? A will be y bar minus b time y minus x bar plus b x. And even you got b also, right? So b b is nothing but b y x. X become x only. Adjust adjust the term. Take this will be here. Try to adjust this term with this term. You will be get this equation. So this is the equation. After simplifying, we got this equation where 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 v y x is nothing but covariance between x and y. Upon variance. Okay. Any question? So still here, still here, we have to do the derivation and get the value of parameter a and b. So let me just take the recap of that. We have a simple linear regression equation, usually called as y on x. Y is equal to a plus b x. To minimize this error, we need to use the method of least square. That means if you take derivative with respect to a, derivative with respect to b, and equate it with zero, you hope I I hope you are all knowing how to get the derivative. Take the derivative, equate with zero. Write in terms of equations. Similarly, second derivative equations, not not second. That means second parameter ka derivative, and that is the second equation. One and two are called as a normal equation. 
and solving one and two, you get the value of the parameter a and b. Okay, a and b. Once you get value of a and b, you can substitute in your equation y is equal to a plus b x. And once you substitute that equation, you may get the final equation, which is the your final regression equation y on x. Okay. So similarly. You have to be do it for x on y. So if the equation become x is equal to a plus b x, then we have to do this all procedure. Try out, try out. If you will be get it, that's fine. If if you will be not get it, then we can just give me one minute. So are you getting students? Can you can you can you work on that? Can you work on that? Take your time. Take your time. Okay. Take your time. I'm uh, I'm not uh, sure whether I can I can able to uh, upload this uh, video today, but surely maybe one and two days. But anyways, we will get the next uh, lectures in maybe the next week because tomorrow I'm going to uh, take the answer, verifying the answers of practical answers and the correlation. I'm going to upload in your GC. Okay. That for this notes, I'm going to upload in GC so you can work from GC as well as from YouTube. Okay, and then in case if you have any query, you can write in GC or you can WhatsApp me, and then let's see how you work. And tell your friends also to join the sessions, connect with sessions. Okay, so bye bye and try out if possible. Like tomorrow, you can complete your. Remaining few questions, which is there in the practical, okay, and uh, then, ha! Huh, I forget to tell you, uh, tomorrow, uh, I think uh, my lecture is one o'clock, right? My lecture.